The Orlando Magic is a team that is drawing attention this early season of the NBA. With almost a month of campaigning, the Florida team is a welcome surprise. The franchise is still undergoing a reconstruction process, but the results in 2023-24 are encouraging. Anyone who says, for example, that they imagine Magic in the top four of the East will be lying. So, not even the most optimistic fan glimpsed the scenario. But the fact is that the Magic has the second-best defense in the NBA. In addition, the duo Franz Wagner and Paolo Banchero are increasingly tuned in court. And to top it off, the Reserve Bank has been proving very useful. Today, Jamal Mosley would have my vote for Coach of the Year. So let's take a look at the great start to the Orlando Magic NBA season. First, we must highlight the cost-benefit of the team. After all, the five athletes who most appeared in the initial formation total $33.7 million US dollars in wages. In other words, it is the cheapest starting quintet in the league. It is worth saying that I am not including the injured Markel Fultz and Wendell Carter, holders until recently. With them, the Magic becomes the third cheapest, behind only Detroit Pistons and San Antonio Spurs. Anthony Black, $7.245 million. Jalen Suggs, $7.252 million. Franz Wagner, $5,508 million. Paolo Banchero, $11,608 million. Goga Batats, $2.066 million. Another detail that cannot be ignored is the youth of the team. Batads is the oldest starter, with 24 years. Rookie Black, meanwhile, is the youngest at 19. The average age of the holders? Only 21.6 years. Therefore, in addition to being cheap, the Orlando Magic has the youngest starting quintet this season in the NBA. As for the Reserve Bank, there are veterans of the cast. Joe Ingles, 36, and Gary Harris, 29 at a touch of experience to the second unit. But the team's main reserve is Cole Anthony, 23 years old. Recently, the owner closed a contractual extension with the franchise. Under the agreement, Anthony will receive $39 million in wages for three seasons. The second unit of the team, incidentally, is one of the most efficient in the league. Third highest scoring, fourth in offensive efficiency, third in blocks, and fourth in rebounds and steals. In addition to the three-sided, it is worth mentioning the contributions of Jonathan Isaac, defending, and Moritz Wagner, scoring. So, Magic has the cheapest, youngest team in the NBA. And they're short of two important players. But even so, he's fourth in his conference and has the second-best defense in the league. He's won six of his last seven games. It is in a sequence of five victories. That is, the campaign is worthy of applause. Today, the Magic has the second-highest defensive efficiency in the NBA. That's 107.5 points per 100 ball possessions. It is second only to the Minnesota Timberwolves, 106.2. In this regard, for athletes stand out. Suggs is fourth in the league in steals two per game. An authentic Swiss candidate. Along with him, Black is another great defender. Magic, by the way, has a pair of ship owners that draws attention by defensive energy. They are experts in pressing the ball man and anticipating passing lines. Not by chance. The Magic is the team that most strength turnovers of opponents, 17.3 per game. Today, Suggs will be the right name in the ideal defense team of the league. Batads and Isaac are in charge of protecting the hoop. Together, they combine for three blocks per game. Isaac has always been a great defender. The point is, he's healthy now. In less than 14 minutes on the court, he averages a burglary and 1.4 blocks. That's elite. Batads, on the other hand, gained ground after Carter's injury. And the Georgian pivot is a pleasant surprise on defense. Magic is the 10th that suffers the least points in the painted area, 46.4. It is the second that less takes points of second chance, 11.9, and the 8th in points suffered from counterattack, 13.2. In addition, it is the second in average steals, 9.7, and rebounds, 40.3. Despite their youth, the Orlando team does not play at a frenetic pace, 17. Pace. This contributes to not suffering many points. So much so that it is the third that less allows pitches to opponents, 84.1 per game. Finally, the team is the second strongest force of rivals to play in isolation. As a result, it limits opponents to the second lowest rate of assists. But above all, players compete. That makes all the difference. It remains to be seen how the team's defense will be after the returns of Fultz and Carter. The fact is that, today, the magic is embedded on this side of the court. We are witnessing the emergence of one of the best pairs of young stars in the NBA. Franz Wagner, 22, and Paolo Banchero, 21, complement each other very well on the court. Both are good passers and know how to create for themselves and their teammates. 
That is, they have a high basketball IQ. In detail, this is only their second season together. That is, they have a lot to evolve. Having young people who know what to do on the court is a luxury. Especially in a time when physical athletic attributes seem to have more value than the simple fact of knowing how to play basketball. Wagner and Banchero, by the way, are not super athletes. But they compensate with intelligence. On both sides of the court. Anyway, they are the leaders that the team needs for the coming years. Franz and Paolo are also examples of Magic's competence in recent recruitments. Merits for Jeff Weltman, president of the franchise. In 2020, Anthony in pick 15. The following year, Suggs in 5 and Wagner in 8. At the time, we warned, Orlando got a steal in the 8th pick. After all, the German was one of the best prospects in that class. In 2022, on the other hand, Luck smiled on the franchise. It won the draft lottery and, with that, was entitled to the first choice. He chose Banchero, something we had already seen in the recruitments mentioned above. And it couldn't have been better, since Paolo was voted the best rookie of last season. The Orlando Magic, therefore, has its main core from the recruitments. In the last decade, the Golden State Warriors did it, and we saw what happened. Far from me wanting to compare situations. The Warriors have one of the greatest players in history, Stephen Curry. But with the maintenance and evolution of this young base, Magic can dream of bigger steps soon. With the level of performances in this first month of the NBA season, the Orlando Magic is a candidate for a playoff berth. After bad campaigns in the last three years, the franchise is in the cake to compete in the postseason. Of course, a lot can happen until April, when the regular season ends, but this Magic gives signs that it is for real. In the last 11 seasons, the team has gone through some reworking. As a result, only two playoff standings and two outs in the first round. But unlike other times, in 2023 out of 24, the Magic is a well-trained team with a confidence passing defense. In fact, teams with solid defenses are always reliable. That's why I believe that Orlando has total conditions to sustain a positive campaign. The Magic have two future All-Stars, Wagner and Banchero, surrounded by young role players with the potential to have long careers in the NBA, and veterans able to aggregate not only in the dressing room, but also on the court. That alone would be exciting. But beyond that, Magic has the fifth smallest payroll in the league. That is, financial flexibility. Thus, if you want to go for a bolder exchange, the franchise has the necessary assets. If, in defense, the team excels, in attack not so much. Magic has only the 10th worst defensive efficiency, 111.9 points per 100 possessions, and the third worst finish on the three-pointers, 33.5%. That is, it is the defense that sustains the good season of the Orlando Magic in the NBA. But, to think of bigger flights, the attack needs to improve. Surround Paolo and Franz with good pitchers, for example. The good side of the attack. Magic is the team that goes to the free throw line, 27.9 per game. That is, there is no lack of aggression to the team. Ultimately, Magic is a team that competes. It doesn't have the most qualified cast, but it's hard to beat them in will. This blood on the eyes can take the team back to the playoffs. Now, just look up. The rebuilding of the Orlando Magic is going great. Thank you. And thus, we conclude our round of news for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any NBA news. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter as well, as we provide updates throughout the day over there. Now, at the end, YouTube will be recommending some videos from our channel, so go ahead and watch them all. Until the next video, peace to all.